you are welcome to my channel where we are to solve this problem involving tangency so we are told to reproduce this figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen using the principle of tangency now if you look at this figure closely we have two centers we have center a at this point let's call it center a and let's call this point here center b right so we need to get those two center so the first thing you do you take your your um c square your t square and you draw an horizontal line this way first of all in the form of a um, center line because it's a circle so i can start with let me start with a faint line first a construction line you can see that now i'm going to pick a point on that line the point i am picking on that line should be given as what as point a right and if you notice that from this center to the other center it's given to be what 50 so i'm going to measure from point a i'll measure 50 to get point b right this is the 50 we have here to get what point b so this is my point b now on those points i'm going to draw my vertical and horizontal line this way let me make it longer so I'll draw my vertical line this way to pass through b and i'll draw the horizontal line also this way to pass through a so those, thing, those two points will mark the center of my circle. Now if you look closely, we have if you look closely, we have um, four radiuses in this circle, in this figure, which is the radius of 25, the radius of 12, the radius of 80, and the radius of what of 40, right? So we are going, since we know the center, we will draw the, 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 because whenever there's a radius, means there's an arc, a curve, or a circle. So since we know the center of the radius of 25 and radius of 12, we're going to start with those radiuses first. So measure the radius of what? Of 25 on my metal rule. This way, I'll measure 25. From here to here is 25 right and i'll place it at point a and i'll draw the first circle with radius of what 25 with my faint line first and the next one is the radius of 12 which is this so i'm going to measure radius of 12 from this point to this point here this is radius of 12 and i'll place it at what at my point b which is this you can see that so i have drawn those two circle first of all because a radius made makes a circle now the next thing is if you look this closely i'm talking about the radius of 40 what do you notice it is going in and i told you that whenever it's going in it means that what it is external Whenever I what the arc is going in, the way it is going in, it means that what it is external. So whenever you see that it's going in, doesn't know you're talking about um, external circle. So I'm going to add. So whenever it's external circle is going in, you're going to add the radiuses. Now if I'm considering radius of 25, right, I'm going to add it with what? The 40. So if you say that your arrow, the radius of 40, I'll call it arrow 40, plus the radius of what of 25 arrow 25 is going to give us radius of what 65 right since i'm considering the radius of 40 i know i know since i'm considering radius of what 20, the radius of 25 i know the center of that radius so i'm going to measure the 65 the 65 here from here to here is 65 right and i know the center of the 25 the rate of 25 right and i'm going to strike an arc at this point here you can see that now i'll do the other one too 
I'm going to add the rest of 40 again because they have what they have in common plus the rest of what of 12 and that'll give me what the rest of what 52 so I'm going to measure 52 on my meter rule this way from 0 this is 5 and this is 52 here right and I'm going to place it since I know the center of the rest of 12 which is this I'm going to place it at point B here and I'll track another arc this way so where they meet that point will be the center of my radius 40 is that taken now that point will be what the center of what my radius what radius 40 that will be the center of it so I'm going to place my compass at that center there and I will take it to a circumference of one of the circles right and I'll show that I'm gauging it so that it will be tangent if you look at it this looks tangent so I'm going to draw my arc this way so I'll just stop here so that is the first one so it means that from this point here to this point here is the radius of what? radius of 40 so that's the first thing you do then the next thing you do is you look at the other radius of 80 it is coming out as you see it is it has a pot belly it's coming out so whenever you see any radius like this any arc like this that is coming out you know it is what it is internal so you're going to what subtract the radiuses so if i'm considering the first circle which has a radius of 25 i'm going to subtract it from what 80 so let's do that and see so we're having the arrow 80 minus what the arrow 25 and that is going to give us that will give us 55 right so i'm going to measure radius of what 55 on my meter rule which is this and i'm going to place it at the center that i know that i'm considering because out of arrow 80 and arrow 25 i only know the center of 25 so i'll take put it there and I'm going to see strike an arc on this same point here, right? Now I'll go to the other one again, which is the 80 minus the 12. So arrow 80, the radius of 80 minus the radius of what of 12, and that is going to give us what? So we have um, 68. So I'm going to measure 68 on my meter rule from here to here. This is 60, 65, and 68 is here. And I'm going to place it at the center that I know. I only know the center of 12. I don't know that of 80. So I'll place it at the center of the radius of 12. And I'm going to strike an arc here. So where they meet, that will be my arrow 80. Arrow what? Arrow 80. So what I will just do is, I will place my compass at that point 80. Arrow 80 here. And I will gauge it to the circumference of one of the circles probably from this point here measure ensure that it is what it is tangential to it so I'll just draw you can see that now after doing that I will now complete them so it means that the radius from this point here right i don't want to just draw it over so i know that the radius at this point see they are together this way so i'll just put it this way i'm going to write r what r80 it is from this point here you can see that that will be what r80 and i'll complete these circles so please that point a you know draw gauge it to that point You see that and I'll come here also I'll get it to this point so this is what we have now what I'm telling you about to give you more insight 
the reason we say this is internal when it is going in is internal is that we've already completed our drawing it's just for me i'm explaining something to you now so if i place this here let me show you something important here i'll be having if i complete this this is one circle right i hope you can see that let me make it more visible this is one circle is that again now these two circles are outside this circle they are all meeting outside it's external it is along the circumference outside the circle so now we say it is what external you are going to be adding the radius just like you can see on the screen and the other one let's see this is the center of the other one if i place it here look at what is happening You can see that this is what is internal these circles let me make it more visible now what do you notice these two circles that we're considering let me make it make it more visible from here to here it's giving us what the radius of what 25 from here to here we're having radius of what 25 and from here to here we're having the radius of what radius of 12. so if you look at this closely we have four circles one two three and the bigger one four having the center here so you see that these two circles are inside the circumference that's why you see both of them are external that's are internal that's why we are what we are adding we are subtracting them but these two circles are outside the circle that's why we say that what the internal so if you have um, found this video helpful please don't forget to what to click on the subscribe button thanks for watching